Man, I got to tell you, these first three episodes of television of Zorro have been so well done. One topping off the other, expanding the world that episode four called Revenge makes complete sense and is fantastic storytelling. What do they do in episode four? They literally take Don Diego out of the game. Okay, we had said it ended on a cliffhanger, that three. And uh, you can check out that, that, that playlist anytime, guys. What they did is they almost kill him off. This is full spoiler talk. Full spoiler talk. So he's basically convalescing the entire episode till the end. So what does that mean? You give spotlight to all these co-starring characters that have been over the last three episodes. The first three episodes introduced. And there's a lot. Okay, let, let, let's break it down. So there's the other Zoro, Nalin, who has taken over. And she's the one who guts him at the beginning of the, uh, of the uh, episode, thinking he's dead. He's not. She goes on a warpath in this episode. It's basically her revenge. When I say revenge, it's hers, the main one, but there's other ones. Nalene takes on Zorro, uh, the Zorro mask, and basically, and not his, it's, it's her own, it's her own uh, kind of configuration of it, which I think is interesting as well. I'll get to that in a second. It's civil war she's trying to create with the governor and uh, the Mexican-Spanish uh, 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 units there that run L.A. Very cool. Very interesting. Uh, to where some of the indigenous population of her tribe are following her, some aren't. They are torn. Okay, so that is very interesting. But what's different about hers or on his, she's killing fools recklessly. Our Zorro, Don Diego, does not. So I find that very, very, very pivotal. A lot of these co-starring characters and what they're doing is going to be pivotal. I see this for the rest of the season. The governor. The governor is an all-out all, is a all out evil dude. Fantastically played by this actor. And what he is doing is he's testing the loyalty and the limits of the captain. Who's Enrique? Who is a good dude and and as uh, has been established is is um, engaged to Lolita, and Lolita believes he's a good man as well. But we see the captain's limits and him crossing those lines, all in the sake of uh, his duty to the governor, and you can see it slowly eating at him during this episode. And yet, what he does is a lot of unforgivable shit to the indigenous population. What him and the governor do is really heavy duty. So uh, I, f I, found, I find that absolutely great drama, great conflict for our hero uh, to come on through. In fact, he hears about what's going on and he tries to get out of his bed to stop this. And he can't. He can't. He's not, he's not there yet. There is uh, some good comedy happening with Bernardo and May. May is one uh, who, in fact, saves Don Diego initially and helps uh, convalesce him. He's healing. <laughs> she doesn't know where to go. She doesn't know what's going on. But all she knows as a... As a... Uh, as a concubine, I guess that's the best word maybe to put it, is to... Please, you know, the, the master, I want to say, or whoever owns her at the time. So there's a scene where she's lying in bed with him. He's asleep. She's just lying in bed with him. Well, I guess waiting to wake up, he does. And she's, he's like, what are you doing in my bed? And she doesn't understand that she doesn't have to sleep with him. So there, you know, it's, it's a funny scene. And, it, and, it, and it, it ends up to where she, he employs, he employs her to, to be, to be, um, a, a cook, but at the house, a, you know, a housekeeper cook along with Bernardo. But I'm getting a feeling she's going to end up being part of his fighting team towards the end. I, I just got a feeling, you know, that May is someone not to mess with. Uh, at this moment, uh, it's been established that uh, she's been traumatized, she's been saved, and now she's working for Don Diego. I, I like that moment. Okay, Lolita. I would say out of any of the characters, Lolita's been a little, 
a little too contemporary, which can be kind of, which can just take you out of, of the story. And that continues a little bit until she is saved by Don De De Her and her dad are saved by Don Diego, who's still not 100%, but he's, he's able to ride off to, and, and save her. And the look she has on her face when, he, when she sees that it was Don Diego saving her is like, oh my God, I love this guy. There's a scene that follows where she's helping him convalesce in the bed as well. And it's a fantastic scene. She still loves him. She is in conflict because she still, she does think that Enrique is a good dude. And uh, Don Diego... He can be impulsive and stubborn, but he's also, in her eyes, what she says, a hero. Fantastic stuff. There's a lot to be said about a, a, a star's charm and looks. And Renata Notni is so well cast in this. She's beautiful. She, she, she can be tough. And now she can be vulnerable that you, you just buy it. Whereas she was kind of like this one-dimensional, annoying tom girl, you know, uh, you know, uh, like the girl power of 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 the uh, of the series. She still has that dignity, but she's torn now. She's torn, and she goes and kind of cries in her mother's arms about what am I going to do? You know, I'm I'm almost loving both. Great stuff. Great stuff that's going to pay dividends again in later episodes with these uh, co-starring characters. So what was kind of a, l a little problematic for me is now uh, solved. I, I, I get I get her conflict. She's got something to do as a character now. And uh, hats off to the writers and the directors. Really, these guys are knocking it out of the park with uh, a lot of these characters. Now, there's some... There's some tertiary characters uh, that will will come into play as well. Uh, the Vanderveen people out of New York trying to come and steal the land. He's hired hitmen. Then there's Don Diego's uncle. Uh, what was his name again? Let's get his name. Uh, Monasterio. He's coming into town. He's going to try to claim the the uh, inheritance as well from his dead, his dead um, brother. Then there's a woman that we saw for a second with the white hat. She has not appeared at all, Cecilia Suarez, since that cemetery scene. Now, at the end of this episode, there's a ring of fire, Zorro fighting Zorro. It is so cool. It is so well done. I love it. And it is... Um, it adds to many layers of what they're trying to 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 say about what's going on in early california you got the spanish mexican uh occupation right you got op you got outside invaders trying to come in and buy land resources you got the indigenous you got the mexicans and uh, you know don diego as zorro is just fighting for these poor and indigenous people and injustice that it, this is getting a little complex, a little heavy, and we're gonna see how it how it uh, how it all comes out. But you know, really fast, this episode Revenge called called Revenge episode four. It, it is wonderful because it 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 takes what we were given these la these first four, three episodes, and it, uh, it 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 digs deeper with all the other characters. Fantastic. I mean, and, and that that really is kind of uh, some bold uh, vision because two and three are so like pro Zorro Don Diego. I'm a hero now. Let's do it. Then he gets taken out for an episode to convalesce. Fantastic. But Zorro is back. Our Zorro is back at the end of this episode. So I am looking forward. They're leveling up on the the you know the the killings the the drama the 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 governor just being a total you know uh just he has no conscience when it comes to uh the indigenous people and when it comes to taking out a uh, zorro great stuff uh and this is uh this is an eight out of ten these shows have been eight 8.5s out of 10. They, I'm, I'm reserving that 9, that 9.5, that 10 out of 10. 
you know, I'm reserving that. But this is so entertaining. So entertaining. Zorro lives. Let's give you right now, let's give you the Zorro watch party that I recently did with Midnight's Edge Espanol. It, it, we do talk in Spanish and English, but it was such a fun time talking about uh, episode one Zorro watch party. There you go right now. Wherever you're at, keep that slant. Muy fuerte. Zorro lives. <laughs>